Hello and welcome, I'm Kira Scribner, and today I'm going to be talking about some books by women that I want to read. I was just making an end of the month TBR as you do because you get to the end and you're like, it's not quite at the beginning of the month, but I still want to read these books and talk about them. And then I realized that a lot of them are based on the Women's Prize and the Carol Shields Prize, and we just wanted to read books by women. And also, March tends to be Women's Month, so I'm really, really excited that we can talk about some amazing books by women and about women and about the relationships that women have because I love women and I love talking about women, so this is going to be great. I have had such a wonderful time following both the Women's Prize and the Carol Shields Prize, and I hope to come out with videos more in depth about them as we go along. But I'm going to start with Memphis by Tara M. Stringfellow, and this is one of the ones that is long listed for the Women's Prize, which is a prize set out of the UK that looks at women's fiction from all genres throughout all of the UK and throughout the world that is published in the UK. And I'm really, really excited to look at these books. So this one is set in the southern part of the United States, I believe, and it follows the North family through intergenerational times. And I think that at the beginning, a daughter and a family come and see their aunt for the first time because they are escaping from an abusive man who I believe is their father slash husband. And it follows them throughout many decades and looks at their family dynamics and how they have been. I've heard mixed results from them, but I've also heard those like very poetic and very poetic is my thing and also family dynamics and women and how we interact with each other is one of my favorite things. So I'm really, really excited for this. The second book that I'm going to talk about is The Last Tale of the Flower Bride. And I am really excited for this. Rakshani Shaksi is one of my favorite authors from long ago. I have read some of her books that are my favorite and I have not read her books in a little bit and I am really sad about that. So I'm excited to dive back into her book with this one. And, and this one being her adult debut is also really exciting. It is based, I believe, on her Indian Filipino heritage and it looks at this world that is very gothic and very inspired by the haunted women of the past. One of my favorite things about Rakshani Shaksi is her Instagram and the fact that she deletes posts all the time is the bane of my existence. I have actually had screenshotted many of her things throughout the time so then I go back and I'm like yes because she describes them in such wonderful ways and I'm like I need to remember this and then I go back and she deletes them but like she's the kind of humor that just makes me so so happy. I think that she based it on Rebecca when she originally talked about it and it's just like very gothic and like fairy tale inspired and all of that and I am really really excited to look at these books and to see what it has and I yeah I really trust her as an author and I'm really excited for this new direction that this book is going. Another author that I've read before that I'm excited to dive back into her work is Fatima Ashgar. She's published in poetry before and I've read her collection If They Come For Us and I thought it was a really beautiful connection. It wasn't quite the poetry that I liked, like I'm very distinct with the poetry that I liked and I didn't like her style but I did enjoy her themes and the ways that she talked about things so I'm excited to read her debut novel and this is about three sisters and their stories as they are in America and them growing up and them being orphans so they're raising themselves and the way that their dreams and stories crash against each other and I think it's gonna be really good. This is shortlisted for the Carol Shields Prize and I love that this prize has like all really short books and books that I'd already been super psyched for because this is a prize that rewards women and non-binary people for writing literature and short stories in Canada the United States and I'm really excited. It I think is based out of Canada and Carol Shield was an American woman who spent most of her life living in Canada. I, I like that we have the dual citizenshipness and the focus on both countries and their heritage and stuff. So I'm really excited. There's many of these authors that like I was so excited for the Women's Prize as well, but so many of the Women's Prize books I can't get a hold of because they're only published in the UK. So it makes me excited that the Canadian literature and some American literature is getting some push. It's really cool because it's rewarding a lot of really cool, diverse, underknown authors and I'm really, really excited to see this. So yeah, I'm excited for this book and to the ways in which these sisters relate to each other and have these stories that mix together. I think that's going to be really interesting. The next book I'm going to talk about is a sequel, which I'm really excited for. This is On Air with Zoe Washington and I really love this book by Janae Marks and I think that it's really important that when we're talking about women's stories, we're looking at it at all age groups and this one is a middle grade novel focused on a young girl who wants to be a chef who is dealing with all of these things in her family. She has just turned 12 and found letters from her father and all she's known about her father her whole life is that he's in jail and throughout this she is figuring out stories and figuring out how the justice system is not always correct and it's a really important book that I think deals with 
the stories of being a young black girl and the stories of incarceration and how racial bias and stuff goes into there and how that affects families in such a huge thing and I think that is a really powerful book that everyone should read and I'm really excited for On Air because I think that it's dealing more with the after effects and her kind of taking more advocacy and using her ability to write and to talk to kind of talk about her own story and her father's story and how criminal justice is not always justice. And then next on the list is kind of adjacently connected to the Women's Prize, and this is A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. So A Thousand Ships was shortlisted back in 2020, I believe, and now her book Stone Blind has been longlisted. And I've been really, really excited to read A Thousand Ships for a while, and I haven't gotten around to it. So I'm like, okay, now is the time I need to read this. And, and I just love how the description of this begins because it says it was never about one woman or two. It was about all of us. And it's about the Trojan War and all of the women that circle around the Trojan War and the goddesses and Penelope and the Amazons and the Greeks and the people who were captured by the Greek and spent 10 years or 20 years and I'm really really excited. I love large simulcasts and the ones that look at women from all different stages and stuff and I think this is gonna be really really incredible and I really want to read Pandora's Jar as well which is like her analysis on many myths and stuff and then now she has stone blind and I already wanted to read that and now it's long listed so I'm gonna have like a Natalie Haynes month or like few months and I'm really hoping that to read a bunch of her books. And then last but certainly not least on this list we have Brown Girls by Daphne Palazzi Andreas and this is a book that I've already had on my like wish list and and then it was longlisted for the Carol Shields prize and I'm super excited like this prize I need to go into deep dive of it because I saw it and there's only like two books on it that I didn't recognize and it made me just love Canadian literature and love like American literature as well there's both on there but like these are so many like short wonderful diverse books that I'm like yes I just love that these books are being highlighted. So yeah, this is about a group of women in Queens, New York, and I don't really know anything. Actually, it's girls. And I think like it's looking at the ways in which them and their families who have immigrated to the United States and how they all interact and stuff. And I just love books that look at how we are shared together and especially women, how we share these things together. And I believe that they're women that come from all over the world but are identified as women and also as people who are of color and that they are recognized by their brown skin. And I just can't wait to see how all these stories connect and the ways in which it celebrates and also talks about the hardships of being a brown girl. And yeah, I think it's gonna be wonderful. It said that it was poetic and observed and I was like, yes, this is what I need in my life. So, so I hope that maybe you found a book that you wanted to read. Maybe you're following these prizes. I would love to know if you are. I'm hoping to read most of the long lists for both of them. So, you know, these are just some of the books that are most highly anticipated and I have out for my library currently. And yeah, let me know what you're reading, what you are enjoying, what trends you tend to follow. Tell me what tropes or like key details or descriptions that really make you want to read a book. And I would love to hear from you in the comments.